Hello guys, welcome one more time. So today's class, we're gonna learn the pronunciation of places in town. Places, public places that you can see, that you can see outside your house. Uh, public places that you can see when you're traveling by bus, by car, by taxi, any method of transportation. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's check it out. I'm gonna share my screen with you this moment. So basically, these are the different public places that we can find in our town or in your city. So we have a list of uh, 20, so we're gonna pronounce them. So number one, the title of the activity is Places in Town. We're gonna pronounce uh, the pronunciation of each, okay, public place. So let's just start with number one. Telephone booth, castle, okay, or Castle, castle, okay, British form, castle, American English, fire station, bank, street, house, post office, railway station, hospital, garage, garage, okay, here is a public place, it's not this, the extension in your house, actually that's another definition about garage, but garage in this meaning is Taller mechanical, okay? So that's garage in this meaning. Continuing, okay, with school, bus stop, park, police station, and also church. Then we have library, okay, clothes shop, restaurant, museum, zoo. So library is not like people translate immediately like libreria, no. Library means biblioteca, okay? So we're gonna pronounce this one more time, but a little bit faster, más rápido, okay? So that's explanation very quickly, okay, of some of these public places. So here we go one more time. Places in town, telephone booth, castle or castle, fire station, bank, street, house, post office, railway station, hospital, garage, school, bus stop, park, police station, church, library, clothes shop, restaurant, museum, and zoo. Okay, so let's continue. And vocabulary, okay, is really important. So here we extend a little bit more. So we have definitions about the previous vocabulary of the picture that you were watching. So places in town with definitions. So if you see here, we have different colors. So in black, we have the public places, okay? And in green, we have um, the verb, okay, with an auxiliary. The auxiliary is can, okay? If you see most of the sentences or the definition, they have the auxiliary can, que su definición es puedo, okay? o poder, ok, con el verbo puedo hacer, en este caso can make, alright, so can do, y ahí tenemos can send, can catch, can go, can take, can go one more time, can take, can walk, can find, can pray, can find, can buy, can eat, can see, and one more time kiss, can see. So be careful with the pronunciation of this auxiliary because most of the students or some of the new beginners, okay, tend to say can, but it's not can, it's can. Pronunciation is can. Exists the pronunciation can, but we're gonna see this later, which is about containers. So here we go, one more time, repeat. Telephone booth, castle, fire station, bank, post office, railway station, Hospital, garage, school, bus stop, park, police station, church, library, department store, restaurant, museum, zoo. All right, so that's the pronunciation about these different, okay, public places. Let's continue with the pronunciation of the verbs, okay? Here we go can make, lives, work, can do, can send, 
can catch, can go, can take, can go, can take, can walk, can find, can pray, can find, can buy, can eat, can see, can see. All right. So that's the pronunciation of this auxiliary, okay? Connected, okay, with a verb. All right, in Spanish is, puedo hacer, puedo hacer, puedo enviar, puedo tomar, puedo ir, and then continue the same, the same, the same. Okay, translation, depending on the verb. So after that, we have different vocabulary in, in red. So we're gonna pronounce it. Repeat, calls. Lives, firefighters, transactions, money, receive, documentation, train, sick, your car, fixed, mechanic, how to, picnics, help, emergency, communicate, anything, antiques, wild animals. La pronunciación de esta palabra wild está aquí escrita, ¿ok? Esa es la pronunciación wild animals, wild animals. Ok, so now I'm going to say the complete definition, ¿ok? For you. Telephone booth, it's a place where you can make calls. Castle, it's a place where lives the queen, princess, and king. Fire station, it's a place where the firefighters work. Bank. It's a place where you can do transactions and save money. Post office, post office. It's a place where you can send or receive important documentation. Railway station. It's a place where you can catch the train to travel to different destinations. Hospital. It's a place where you can go when you feel sick. Garage. It's a place where you can take your car to be fixed by a mechanic. School. It's a place where you can go to learn how to write and read. Bus stop. It's a place where you can take a bus to travel to your work. Park. It's a place where you can walk, exercise, play, and have picnics. Police station. It's a place where you can find help when you have an emergency. Church. It's a place where you can pray to God Okay, where you can pray and communicate with God. Con Dios, pray and communicate with God. Library, it's a place where you can find a lot of books to read. Department store, it's a place where you can find anything for your house. Restaurant, it's a place where you can eat delicious national and international food. Museum, it's a place where you can see arts and antiques. Zoo, it's a place where you can see different wild animal, animals. Okay, guys, so basically that's the pronunciation of different public places that you can see when you're traveling by car, by bus, by taxi, or any metal transportation, or even when you're walking outside your house. So what is the purpose of this uh, class? that whenever you are outside your house, you need to tell these places in English. If you see um, una escuela, you need to say school. To, si tú ves un, um, un restaurante, you need to say restaurant. If you see una oficina postal, you need to say post office. Si tú ves un, una estación de bomberos, you need to say fire station. And something else, or something extra. If you see these places, okay, you need to tell the definition about those places, okay? Que es lo extra que hemos visto, okay? Which is the extra thing that we have seen right now in this class. So guys, so basically that's what you have in this moment, in this class with me, learning English. So continue learning, practice this, uh, try to understand it and also tell the public places in English, okay? So uh, later I'm gonna be like giving you more videos about how to use this vocabulary 
in a conversation. But for now, this is it. Bye.